This week we saw Lori Vallow move closer to standing trial in eastern Idaho on charges that she helped her new husband Chad Daybell conceal the remains of her children, JJ Vallow and Tylee Ryan. Today word that she could face more charges, this time in connection with the death of her ex-husband in Arizona. Our Shira Matsuzawa is here now to walk us through those possible new charges. Shira. Tammy, this is a complex case we've been following since last year when the children went first when they first were reported missing, and it's a case that spans multiple states, which means multiple investigations. Yes. Police or paramedics? Uh, both. I'm in police and an ambulance. Arizona police are now looking into charging Lori Vallow Daybell in connection with the death of her ex-husband, Charles Vallow. This is body camera footage following his death. In a statement given to our sister station in Phoenix, KPNX, Chandler police say, those charges could come down as early as December, but there is no exact date or timeline at this time. They add if and when those charges come down, one will be conspiracy to commit murder. Who lives here with you? Nobody. I don't live here. My sister lives here and my niece lives here. And you're and just visiting? I was visiting for the night. As we've reported, Lori's brother Alex Cox shot and killed his sister's husband last July. Cox claims it was in self-defense. He then died of natural causes months later. But according to the statement from Chandler Police, Lori has always been a person of interest in this investigation. It goes on to say detectives are in no rush at this time and are still going through more than 100,000 pieces of digital data. All right. Meanwhile, both Lori and her new husband, Chad Daybell, remain in jail in connection with this case. They face charges of conspiracy and concealing or destroying evidence. Neither have been charged with killing Lori's children. And earlier this week, a judge ruled there is enough evidence to move Daybell's case forward. The court finds that the state has met its burden of probable cause, and I find that uh, there is probable or sufficient cause to believe that the defendant, Chad Daybell, committed the offenses counts one through four as designated in the amended criminal complaint. I will bind the defendant over to the district court Daybell will be back in court for an arraignment on August 21st. Lori waived her right to a preliminary hearing, which means her case will now go straight to trial. No word yet on when she will be back in court. Again, there is no exact date for when those new possible charges could happen in relation to Charles Val's death, but Chandler police say they're estimating between four and six months. Meantime, I checked in with the Idaho Attorney General's office to see if there are any updates regarding their investigation in connection with this case, as well as Tammy Daybell's death investigation. She's the late wife of Chad Daybell, and a spokesperson for the AG's office tells me the investigation is still ongoing. Tammy? Okay, Shara, thank you for that update.